It's taken weeks to complete this mystery machine. It's cost me time, unit resources, and a friend. <clears throat> it must be worth it. It must be! This will either save lives or doom us all. Oh! What if Benton's right? I don't know what this stupid thing is or what it does. Who it'll save, who it'll doom. Maybe I should just stop whilst I can. But you've spent all this time on it. Why stop now? Ah, oh, hello, Mr. Representative, sir. Um, I'm sorry, I just didn't expect to see you. Usually Russell gives me a heads up of when you'll be arriving, so. Oh, he doesn't need to know about all my comings and goings. <laughs> now. Don't let me distract you. Not going to try and stop me? Certainly not. You're just doing your job, after all. Well, it's just the last you were here, you sort of forbade this sort of thing from happening. Are you feeling okay? Better than ever. Now. Activate the Time Disruptor. Someone needs to learn about personal boundaries. Wait, how do you... How do you know what this thing is called? I haven't... Oh, oh. hey, hey, hey! Victorious, and I'm going home. Thanks to you. <laughs> That's where this went. Thank God I found it in time. If this fell into the wrong hands, I... Oh no. Did you try and build one of these? Maybe. Firstly, up you get. That's it, nice and slow. Secondly, who are you? Dr. Errol Courtney. Head scientist of Unit HQ. Your clothes. Are you 
Colin Baker, Brigadier of Unit HQ, so uh, you can salute, thanks. Ow! Sorry, I thought you were someone else. I fear you're about to have a very confusing day, Dr. Courtney. I'll gladly explain our situation to you, but first, what's your story? You seem to know of that device. The thing that caused... that. This is no ordinary crack. This... Look, do you have a team? I have quite the sizable team personally, not to brag. But I'd hate to keep explaining this to multiple groups at a time. That sounds like my own personal hell. It's just me. No! Call them in. Who? Everyone! Absolutely not! If this thing gets any worse, the whole ru hell, the whole world could be at risk. It's higher stakes than just the world. All right. No more secrets. Calling in all the doctors. What? We're still on for smash bars, aren't we? Of course we're on. Right. But does anyone know how to get this sodding remote working? I'm still fucking pissed that this happened. But this one is definitely a sex toy. Great walnuts are born inside. You do? Do we know why we're here? I don't know why we're here. Okay, this is everyone. Uh, well, bar the companions and villains, but there's only so many people you can fit in a room, you know? So the doctor is a character in a TV show here? Yes, indeed. But all you really need to know is, they are here and willing to help. I'll take it. Right, so everybody listen up. My name is Dr. Errol Courtney, head scientist of Unit HQ. And as I understand it, you can all help with this cosmic disaster. It's a hobby. More of a side effect of where we're forced to live. <laughs> you said it, stepfather of mine! Okay. Roll call! <laughs> Have we got a shooty gatois? You could ignore him. Alright. Copy that. Now, in 1942, a bomb fell on London. And any history buffs in the room can tell you that that was in World War II. The height of the Blitz. This sounds weird. I can tell you with confidence, dear boy, that many bombs fell during the Blitz. Some of them by me. <laughs> ah, but sir, this was no ordinary bomb. This was a time bomb. The Time Disruptor. <laughs> I've seen that before, haven't I? Well, that's an advanced looking prop for this series. We have to assume that liberties were taken. This was originally my universe's problem, but your colorful brigadier here decided to try and replicate this. Hence why it spread to your universe. Yes, that was my bad, everyone. Well, let's build it again, but this time with no crappy Colin craftsmanship. Oh, shut it, Pertwee. It's not helping. I fear that that would only damage things further. How do you mean, damaged? Brace yourselves, everyone. Some people who witness this go a bit barmy. Behold! I've contained it behind this rudimentary PSG device. Thank you, Dr. Leeson, you're a genius. The crack in time. Been played out for this series, Jack. Get some new ideas. Oh, you may have dealt with cracks in time before, but this is no ordinary crack. This is a time fracture. 
Yeah. You know of this strange anomaly? It was this, like, immersive show linked to that Time Lord Victorious multimedia crap. I remember I filmed stuff for it, and it started with Unit telling you all this stuff, and then people get sent through it. Uh, yes, that was our plan. The doctor sent us a list of volunteer names, and we were in the process of training them up to go through the fracture. I'm immediately in, but I have to ask, what do you hope to achieve by throwing people into a gap in the time vortex? It was the doctor's plan. Well, part of it at least. They never shared the rest. But we're not exactly ones to argue with Unit's number one tactical asset, so... Jody, you said this was linked to the Time Lord Victorious. Yeah, that old bombed hard, probably because it had Tenant as the focus and not yours truly, so... Oh yeah! Deal with it, Mr. Quiff! A quiff it? Leave my quiff alone! Stop bickering in Unit HQ. I had it banned for a reason. But there is one other thing I need to mention. Quite large, in fact. The BBC representative got sucked through. Hey, no balls of fire. But it gets worse than that, you see. He was not himself. He had the Time Lord Victorious entity controlling him. Oh, this is bald hey, now. Okay, everybody calm down now. Oh, everybody shut Usually people in power and Doctor Who are evil, but this guy wasn't. Oh, this is not good at all. Ace, oh no, Ace isn't here. And, and everyone shut up! We can continue to correctly place the blame on Colin. Or we can save time. Which sounds better to you? I mean, Colin did. I uh... need the rum, Capaldi. Yeah, fair enough. This is no longer just about saving time. This is a rescue mission. We need to find and bring back the representative. And I think you the one to lead the first team, if you wouldn't mind. It was your doctor who sent us the list of volunteer names, so maybe that means you have the advantage, I don't know. Eh? Uh, I mean, uh, y yeah, Tuts, let's fucking do it. Right, all right, Galloway. Hi, everyone, my name's Jody Whittaker, and I am... Oh, I suppose we can skip that bit, we all know each other. So, okay, here's my thinking. We can't all go at once. Because that would be fucking stupid. And also uh, hard to film, in it. So, small task force, led by yours truly. Any volunteers? <gasps> Too eager. Absolutely not. Aww. Smith! Oh, we're a great team! Ha! Yes! An excellent choice. Now, as a recommendation, was there anyone else involved in the Time Fracture project? Oh, yeah, good idea. Um, Captain Jack. I'm afraid he's not been seen since the Moffat incident. Ah, bugger. Uh, also, like, thunk. Um, let's see. River Song. I wish I knew where that saucy minx has gone. Ugh. Uh, Joe Martin. Ooh. Best not. Uh, that just leaves David Bradley. Quite the fraction of time not. you've got there. One day, you'll see the time you saw. Yes, they will. Until then, there must be no pretense. I shall be your third. Are you sure? Yes, and that's final. Hmm. Right, yes. Besides, I want to help anyway. The representative is my friend. And I'm determined to get him back far more than David fucking Bradley! Wait, 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 wait! I'm coming too. If this really is about the victorious entity, then I'm your best asset. He was in my head for years. I know how to fight him. Hey, are you sure you're up for this? If the victorious gets hold of you again, trust me. I refuse to let anyone else suffer like I did. You will all have 20 minutes to return. If you're not back by then, I will send a brand new team in to assist you. Time is in your hands. I trust these people. I can 
completely trust. They're not just idiots wearing charity shop clothes. I completely trust them. Are you all ready? Hell yeah! Oh yes! More than ever. This has become very real. Uh, Three. Two. One. I don't see you. I just got a flashback to the Series 5 trailer. Shh, shh. Keep your voice down, dear boy. We have no idea where we are. It could be hostile. France, it's a very distinctive taste. Uh, 17th or 18th century. Beautiful. I've no idea where he picks that stuff up. Uh. Well, the architecture is certainly familiar. The fracture must be merging our universes together. Meaning what? Jack can get away with filming everything in the same flat. Oh, I see. Well, if this is the past, then we must tread lightly. Dr. Rules, no interfering unless absolutely necessary. Agreed. So, Jody, you're the one with the knowledge of this play. What happens next? Okay, so, good news, I knew we'd teleport to the past. So, excellent, we're here. Bad news is, it's not supposed to be France. So it's going wrong? It's hard to say. I'll be honest, I don't actually know much about the plot. But you're in it! I was more of a cameo. Only filmed at a green screen for a couple hours. Wouldn't call myself integral. You could have told us that before we entered the world-ending vortex! Probably worth staying back for now, you know, watch the clues before getting involved, and Hartnell's gone. So much for history. Excuse me, dear boy, are you quite all right? Oh, no, it's just that... Bill! Oh my god, it's you! The presentative! Oh, my dear boy, it is good to see you. Everyone, I found him. Well, 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 this has been a very quick rescue. High fives all round. Quick my ass. I've spent months here in this stinking time period. Months? It's only been a couple hours since the fracture opened. Time is unravelling. Happening all at once. You could say that it's wibbly wobbly. Timey wimey. Well, you certainly seem like yourself. But where's the Victorious? It left my body the moment we got here, thank God. But we did share a mind for a time, so I know its plan. He intends to find a more useful host for this universe and... Damn it! Exposition will have to wait and... Oh, Tenant, you really shouldn't be here. What? Why? Just stand there, quiet, and everyone bow. Bow now! Do you all want to be executed? Lower, for God's sake! Ow! <sighs> Messieurs and Mademoiselles, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now, we invite you to bow, do not relax, as the throne room gladly presents... Madame de Pompadour! Oh, right. That's my cue! My lady, how beautiful you are looking today, how ready you are. Don't grovel, Dudley. Dudley. Where's your friend? <laughs> you had him executed yesterday for picking his nose. Yes, I did. Yes, fair enough, that's gross. What? It is. Who are these 
oddly dressed peasants you have before me, Dudley. You know, I cannot bear strangers ever since my beloved doctor disappeared on me. Different details, same plot. Don't mumble, woman. It is unbecoming, much like those trousers. So is Renette. Um, well, uh, these people, uh, as I'm sure you've correctly guessed with your superior intelligence, uh, are not just random townspeople or intruders, God forbid. <laughs> they are, of course, suitors. Yes, suitors. The tit in the suit let you down, I feel that. It hurts the soul, but you know what you need right now? What? A damn good rebound. Hmm. Tempting proposition, but how to choose? I know. A fight to the death! No, 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 no. Please, uh, you would not want to arm these people. They are royalty, after all. Are they? You. With the bow around your neck. Is this true? Are you of royal blood? Oh yes, I'm minted. Got castles in every country, suits of armour and stuff. And you? Are you a queen? Um, yeah, toots! <laughs> Although I do actually have a queen of my own already, sort of. Well, I I did. I stop clapping your dickhead. Uh, it's so complicated, to be honest with you. And finally, you, a frail form. I'm whatever you want me to be, young lady. Yes, sorry. Hmm. Perhaps a game then. Whomever can impress me will have my heart. Your Majesty, get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, no. One is quite amused, but only one of you can have my heart, and that person is Lord Matthew Smith. You shall be my husband. Hey, thank you, Madame de Pompadour. You will not be disappointed. Sure, hang on, husband. But of course, come with me, my love and we shall plan the most perfect royal wedding in history. Um, well, I... Unless, of course, you're planning on running off, which means your head will have to take a permanent vacation from your shoulders. Coming, dear. <laughs> you too, Dudley. I may need someone to hold my frock. <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here. Right, you two. Whilst I'm gone, find Tenant and or the victorious entity. But most importantly, 
Don't get involved with any side quests. Going! where we are now. Don't do that. We are doing things my way this time. Hello? David? Are you here? Zanaya? Is that you? Yes. I uh, have those plans, you. Oh, hello. Good grief. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? At your service. Ninja Turtle? Now, uh, where is Zaria? She just popped out for a piss. We can collect whatever it is on her behalf. Very well. I'm uh, happy to be rid of it, if I'm being honest with you. Might I ask why? Since uh, working on Zaria's designs, it uh, seems to have uh, attracted some uh, unwanted attention. Ironically, you can forget them now, as they do seem to keep their distance. Now, uh, which one of these is the design? No chance you've seen a fella about. He's like, yay, hi, not so handsome, hair so spiky, a porcupine would see it as a mirror, that kind of thing. No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> I assume this is what you've designed for her. Ah, oh, yes, I'm a magnum opus. This should help with what's happening to time. But that's not right. Yes, it is. Ah, Zaria! How was it your piss? The silent artist. Hand it over. Oh, so you want to fight, do you? Well, that seems a tad unfair. Can I have one too? We can be called the gunslingers. If you want a hole in your head, you're acting like you want a hole in your head. Okay, you are so clearly evil. You are not getting these plans. I'm not evil. I am a hero and I will save my world. Now give me the plans. <coughs> well, the artist gets it. Okay, easy, Zariah. Da Vinci is too important to Earth's history. You can't shoot him. Earth's history is nothing compared to my world's survival. I will not hesitate. For someone not evil, you're not doing a good job at showing it, dear girl. Gallifrey rises for Athelon! Nasty woman. Gallifrey. She's a time lady. And worse than that, she's a Rassilon purist. Oh, we are in trouble, Bill. <laughs> you don't get to call me that. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. She wants to fix time. She said so herself. She promised me. Explain to me what... What have I done? There's no time, but look, you are brilliant, Da Vinci. Just know that. You are brilliant. But maybe stick to painting. Come on, Bill. Wait, 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 don't wait. Good day, humans. Oh! No chance you've seen any time ladies about, have you? I'm afraid you just missed her, Noodle Mouth. I've been called worse. Have a splendid day. Oh, well, uh, now back into my magnum opus. <laughs> Wait. 
I know this handwriting. Where'd she go? There you both are. Where have you been? I thought you ran back home without us. Oh, be calm, my boy. We were only gone a few moments. It's... It's been a year. Did you at least find Tennant? No, but we did. Tell me later, the wedding's about to start. Come on. Oh, for sensorite's sake. <coughs> we are gathered here today. To witness the marriage of King Matthew Smith and Madame de Pompadour, who have taken the liberty of consummating the marriage many times before the ceremony. Damn right. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Agreed. We can't just stand here. We've got to find Zariah. I've got a feeling she'll be here soon. What makes you say that? Well, remember the five doctors? No. Oh, right, Herndor. <laughs> anyway, you see what's on her head? That's not just any old crown. That is the coronet of Rassilon. And if our friend Zariah is the Rassilon purist she appears to be, then she's going to want to have that. We might wish to tell Chinny over there. Good idea. I love you, Renette! The way your eyes glisten in the moonlight as we walk the streets of Paris. Your voice is silky smooth as the linen of our bedsheets. And your beautifully round bottom! <laughs> but my vow to you is that I will love you until the end of time itself. Which is a distinct possibility. Well, go on then. So that's how you tell someone you love them. And do you, Marie Antoinette, have any vows in return? I vow to never cut your head off, even if you annoy me. Before we pronounce you husband and wife, it is customary for me to say, if anyone objects to this union, Speak now, or forever... Stop this wedding now! David! Sorry, force it You! You mini log talk! You dare show your face here! Oh! Hello, Renette. Oh, are you two? That was nice. <laughs> your Majesty, you have what is rightfully ours. McGann? Troughton? Her Majesty will be upgraded. <gasps> All rogue elements will be deleted. Delete. 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 Alright, 20 minutes is up. New team time. I suggest me. Any objections? No, good. <laughs> hey, no, no, no! As Brigadier in charge of unit, I shall decide. Oh, unless you... Uh, are you cutting your hair right now? Well, I had a proper haircut scheduled in for today, but unfortunately you built this in your fucking kitchen. So I figured, you know, I might as well do it now whilst we got a bit of a lull here. Time waits for no man. And it may end for everyone. Put it away. All right, fine. Well, you know these weirdos better than I. Why don't we do it dodgeball style? You pick one, I pick one. Yeah. I'm game. I choose... <laughs> Trap. Ah! Consider this your induction. You mean... You fix time, you can consider yourself unit's new scientific advisor. Oh, I won't let you down! And I'll pick 
You, with the big curly hair. The older one. Yes, suck it, Baker! Well, I'd rather be here than old. <laughs> Have fun in there, don't forget to bring lunch. <laughs> McCoy, a word? I've read most of the files on your doctor from way back when. He did some good work. I have no doubt that I'll live up to the tales. My second choice will be... All right, come on again. Yes! Oh, thank you so much! <laughs> Finally, a chance to travel back to my universe. There's no guarantee where you'll end up. Also, no, like it or not, your home is here. Home isn't where you're born. It's a feeling. I don't feel it here. Okay, ouch! Uh, no, yes, except you, John. You are my rock, and I love you, and I will miss you. Uh -huh. I... Sorry. My second and final choice is the one with the exact same hair as my first choice, but with the blue ensemble. Huh? Uh, me? Why? I met the doctor that looked like you. He was one of the greats. You have great taste. And a great voice. Okay. Pertwee, Capaldi, McGann and Troughton. Same as before. If you're not back within 20 minutes, a new team will be sent in. Let me just get my watch. Uh... Tom, have you pickpocketed me again? How do you even do it from over there? I have my ways. <laughs> now hush. Ready you for? Three, two, one. Colin, have you uh... Shit, go, go, go yes. now. Someone tell me what the oh hell is God. going on here. No, 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 don't you dare. See what I mean? I activate Tomwood protocol for seven. Since when do we have protocols? Oh, check your inbox. But this is the exact kind of distraction we've been waiting for. Whilst everyone's trying to, you know, fix time or whatever, we can finish our tunnel out of here. Ace! <laughs> Although, do obviously make sure time is fixed. It would make our efforts seem rather pointless in comparison. Ooh, fair point. Whoopee! I never did make him admit that I'm better than him. Later. Priorities, madam. This is insane! Just you wait till the representative finds out! <laughs> so... Oh! <laughs> well, we're here. I won't lie. I was banking on Gallifrey. This is definitely the right universe. It just has that... That smell! Oh, nah, that's just me. Oh, my giddy aunt! I oh, could be, you know. Get around a bit, I do. The name's Bros, and this is my salvage import and export emporium. Good day, my oinking fellow. I. Well, I'm the doctor. And this is my funny small assistant who helps me out. Oh, shove off. I'm Patrick, and this is Paul. But more importantly, be busy. Well, wait, wait, wait. Before we go scouting off, I've got a deal that you won't want to miss out on, yeah? <sighs> Is that right? It could be useful. You never know. We hold a... Once it held a tyrant time lord within. Now it shrunk down and fit for all your cybermat infestations. <sighs> An overly complex mouse trap. For only 50,000 credits. An overly expensive mouse trap. It has its charm, but not exactly what we're looking for. Thank you. Let me guess. With those clones? <sighs> I'll bet you're the adventuring type, in ya? <sighs> I've got just a thing for you. <sighs> Lovely jubbly. <sighs> this. When you come face to face with your imminent death, Pessimistic. But likely, looking at your little legs. <laughs> but we got to pull this back, put it into your hand, ow, and then you simply <laughs> tell the world your story. Or your kids that you love them, whatever you humans do. Tell the world your story. Or your kids that you love them, whatever you humans do. 
You simply assume that we're humans. I get that all the time. It wouldn't have happened in Gallifrey's prime. My people came first, after all. Get a girlfriend, Capaldi. Oh, shut up. Oh, this is exciting, is it not? It's just a tent. What's got you so amped? This is my chance for redemption. All this time, Colin has kept me arm's length from Unit. Can you believe? But if I pull this off, save time itself. It's back to my position as scientific advisor I go. It kind of seems like Troughton had a better shot than you. Oh, he's a fine chap. <laughs> but a little dim. Emphasis on the little. Ah, oh, there you both are. I was worried you might have gotten cold feet. Or, God forbid, grew a conscience. <laughs> nice tux. Thank you. Now, I've got a splendid job for you both to come along on. Oh, you'll learn so much. You'll be professionals in no time. Splendid! Professionals of what? Jack Reeves! Oh, hello. What are you three doing in my... Great balls of fire! That. You are my assassins in training, are you not? If you aren't, I would have to kill you for knowing too much. Yes, yes, murder is so, so cool. Yes, yes, good, the coolest. So, uh, what's the job? A high profile target, I assume? It's not about who they are, but what they are. Any guesses? Uh, Drashigs? No. Ogrons? No. Uh, Autons? You're just guessing things from your own era. Is it the suits from Oxygen? No to all. We are hunting a time lady. They don't happen to be called the Doctor, do they? <laughs> oh, goodness, no. <sighs> Uh, as fun as that would be. <laughs> we are hunting a time lady called Zariah. She's a bad, bad girl then, eh? I've mud-wrestled a few of them in my time, you understand, yeah. Hmm? Probably. <laughs> the rumour is, is that she's somehow linked to what's going on with time. But more importantly than that, the pay is exemplary. So, by the sounds of it, we kill this one woman, and time gets fixed, just like that. Uh, maybe. And we get rich. I see no downsides. Neither do I. You'll both do well with that mindset. <laughs> now, tracking her in this crumbling universe has been tricky. But she was last seen passing by the Kablam desk, exiting 17th century France, and then beelining for some shipwreckage nearby. None of what you just said made sense. The important detail is, she's here. Now watch the professional at work. <laughs> what a splendid idea! <laughs> Zoroya! As pretty as she is deadly. <laughs> How was the uh, Cyberman ship ruins? A waste of time with a suited moron nearly ruining everything. But I got what you wanted. Now cough it up, Brawls. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> well, if you've got any credits you also promised, then I've got anything and everything you want, love. Just give it. Give me the credits first. Not before you show me you have what you promised. I know your reputation, pig. That's our word! Give it. Now. Don't know what you're talking about, love. 
I've got a lot of customers, you see. I think I might have mixed you up with some other ditzy broad. <laughs> you called her by name and reputation. Some of the clunkiest exposition this side of the Chibnall era. You in the green, can I buy your little friend there? I've got a circus ringleader who'd adore him. <laughs> How much? Paul! I'm only joking. This! Do you have the piece for this or not, Brawls? Or are you about to become... Bacon? Oh, I've heard this talk from all my customers who think they're hard. If you don't like the service, then you can fuck! Is he... Yes. Bacon. One down. Might I ask what that is? High Council business. None of your concern. Oh, well that's good because I am also a Turn Lord. Oh? Obviously, yes. I was sent by the High Council themselves to assist you. <laughs> I don't need assistance. Lord Tepesh trusts me and me alone. D did, did he say assist? <laughs> Silly mistake, really. Um, what he meant to say was be guided by. Yes, Lord Tepesh said that we needed to be guided by the very best. And that's you, of course, probably. Yes. He said that. <laughs> All right. Um, so, you're both Time Lords? No, no. I am. This is my human companion. Mr. Chicken. You're not the doctor, are you? No, me? Absolutely not. I hate that guy, in fact. Especially that eighth incarnation of his, the one with the green coat. He's a real inconsiderate asshole. Okay. How much of the mission do you know? Tepesh, he didn't entrust us with all the details. You'll have to start from scratch. Classic Tepesh. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the Temporal Disruptor. I'm currently traversing this decaying universe to find all the pieces to build it back on Gallifrey. Why is it needed? To save us. To save Gallifrey. It's the only way. Now you'll have to excuse my potential stupidity here. I was under the impression that it had already gone off. Hence, you know, all of this. Don't be ridiculous. Building this is the only way to win. It'll fix everything. And this is what Tepesh has told you. You doubt us? You're not a Ramana supporter, are you? <laughs> no, she hates my guts. Don't take it to heart. She's an idiot. Now, you, me, and Mr. Chicken have a wedding to crash. Oh, what's your name? You can call me... The Traveler. Stay right where you are. All time is precious, Ood, so don't waste mine. Down! <laughs> <laughs> Lesson one, it's okay to retreat sometimes. It'll allow you to reassess your situation and win the next bout. Should I write that down? Situation reassessed. Time to retort. Ah, thought that looked cool, but this is pointless. We need to get to France. We need to what? You have a TARDIS nearby. I've got Walls between worlds and times are fractured. We can step between them with ease. You have a strange definition of better. See that over there? You go through it, and you end up on Earth in the 17th century. Why there? Oh, you'll see. We need a distraction. Ah! What? Oh! 
Cyberman! Well, well done! Why would you mess with the Cybermen? They're one of the most formidable armies in the entire universe! Well, I don't know about that. I very easily took one out a couple years ago. Lucky. You will all be upgraded. Stand back, everyone! I know what to do! Who's this beige twat? Davison's brother or something? Is he with you? Looking like that? Definitely not. Listen, Mr. Cyberman, sir, you don't have to kill. You can be good. You can be a good little Cyberman boy. What do you say, eh? Delete. Bill flashbacks, get up! What do we do? I never fought these bastards! Very simple, my friends. We use logic. Good day, my shining fellow. You wish to upgrade the best, do you not? Correct. Then I would hardly say that two elderly gents and a silly old dude are worthy of your race. But lucky for you, I know where you can get some good royal. Before we pronounce you husband and wife, it is customary for me to say, if anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever... Stop this wedding now! David! Sorry. Force of habit. You! You mini lobcock! You dare show your face here! Ah. Oh. Hello, Renette. Oh, are you two? That's nice. Yeah, good for you. Your Majesty, you have what is rightfully ours. McGann? Troughton? Her Majesty will be upgraded. Ah! All rogue elements will be deleted. Delete, delete, delete. You had that the whole time! It's only temporary, so let's act quick. Ugh. Oh, where on earth did that cyber chap even come from? Probably that big cyberman ship outside, but I'm no expert. So, how are we doing? Time fixture? Or... Obviously not! What the hell are you doing here? I was bored? <laughs> and besides, what was I supposed to do? Ooh. Not jump into the universe ending fracture in time? Yes! Oh, well, someone tell me that next time. Uh, oh, just, just kill me. I'm sorry, do you know this erratic individual? Unfortunately. We better get a move on, though, as a whole legion of Cybermen are marching on their way, right here as we speak. <laughs> it's not a joke. Humans and Ood detected. Oh, for fuck's sake, I just wanted to sit down for two minutes. Off to France we go. France, you say? I knew I wore this ensemble for a reason. <laughs> City of death. Here comes Doctor Who! Do 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 do! Renette Poisson, you have what is rightfully mine. Hand over the coronet of Rassilon. Called it. Do you want a medal or something? Hmm? I wouldn't say no. Dudley, what is this blithering idiot on about? Your crown, my lady. I am Zariah. You will hand over that coronet, or your husband oh. 
won't see the honeymoon. Put that gun down, now! Ha, uh, my love, I, I suggest doing as she says. After all, our lives mean more than just some heap of metal. So if you wouldn't mind quite quickly. Paul! It is an important part of my world's history, which I will defend with my life. Then die. Dudley! Miss Poisson, I hate to disappoint, but I am not Dudley. I am the representative from the British Broadcast Corporation. I have no fucking clue what's going on. So please, stand down so we can talk this out. that you would be foolish enough to render yourself unarmed. Always important to look for moments like these. Oh, that's actually a good one. You got a pen? It's fine. Oh, there are too many of us here and too much going on. We all need to take a chill pill. I believe this is what you were truly after. Hidden beneath the throne itself. Never allow yourself to be distracted by trivial things. No matter. I only need one other piece anyway, and then I can just kill you and take that off your corpse. Good luck doing that from the great beyond. Ha! That primitive weapon won't kill me for long. I've still got all my regenerations. Oh. My employers did not mention this. Not ideal, but could be worse. You just had to go and say it, didn't you? Oh, oh, oh. Tactical retreat yes, of the Wait, wait for me. <sighs> Traveller, Mr. Chicken, come on, Mr. Who? Protect Mr. Chicken! Oh. Dear boy, a uh, new no chance this would help. Renege, now's your time! You've got to get out of here, you will not die this day! But what of you? I will fight this foul beast in your name! Oh, you brave soul! I shall see you soon! <laughs> oh, thank God I can be myself again! Where in the name of Amelia Jessica Potter? Have you two been? Is now the best time? What? Smith? <laughs> yeah. Well, I've clearly missed a lot. Uh, well, long story short, me and Bill, uh, sorry, Hartnell, William Hartnell, me and him got sidetracked to Italy, but I swear we were only gone a few minutes. I know you said not to get sidetracked, and I, I wasn't gonna, but then I wanted to. And, uh, but it wasn't for long, okay? It wasn't for long. The time and space is more wibbly wobbly than we thought. It's getting worse with every second, holes opening up everywhere. We need to escape here and then figure out our next step. David, you okay? Never better. Ah, oh, um. It seems I've misplaced my Sonic at a very inopportune time. Hartnell, how's the representative? He's, uh, he's, he's alive, yes, <laughs> uh, but he's breathing. It, it, it's all over the place. We must get him home at once. And we do that how? If we can get every single Doctor Actor focused on the task, I have no doubt that we can fix this. Where's Duggan? Where's Scanoff? I... Well, there's Scanoff. <laughs> Sort that, would you? I'll be anywhere else. Oh, oh, fix time whilst you're at it. <laughs> okay, maybe not all Doctor Actors. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you have plenty of time, Sylvester. Rather ironic, given the circumstances. <laughs> How's it going? 
Ah. Very well indeed. Although it does still need a bit of time to get our shapely bottoms through it. I'd suggest making your way back here so you can assist me. Good idea. On my way. <laughs> Kisses. <laughs> It's going to be okay. Just hang in there. We'll get you home as soon as we can and everything will be back to normal, eh? My boy. Oh, what do we do? This is chaos! Bloody ood, bloody robot, bloody Gallifrey and bastard! What do we do? Ah! One problem at a time! Time and relative dimensions in space. TARDIS for short. Time will tell. It always does. We have all the time in the world and all the space. I'm offering them to you. All of time and space, anything that ever happened or ever will. Where do you want to start? We're not just fighting the flood. We're fighting time itself. And I'm gonna win now! Oh, you should always waste time when you don't have any. Time is not the boss of you. Even after all this time, he cannot understand. I dare not change the course of history. It burned by the earth. It's just rocks and dust. Before it's time. If you reverse it, then reverse it back again. And then, and that wouldn't work because you just mean it won't work. I think it will be perfect. We are so no, screwed if we don't no, try this at least. The representative is missing. Units are melding together. The victorious entity is on the loose and time itself is falling apart. All under my watch and yours. When this is all over, you are no longer the brigadier. I know. I know. But right now we need to focus. The last of us have been sent through. And what do you hope these morons will achieve? The only one with the brain and the heart to sort something like this out was Chris. And he's not coming back. Shut up. I beg your pardon? I think he told you to shut up. Don't you dare put down these people. Men like you, you've locked us away for years, and do we fight you every day? No. Instead, we fight Daleks and Cybermen and Autons and all other manner of space thuggering. They are in there, risking their lives. Eccleston, he was a truly great doctor. But he's not the only one. Okay. You're right. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. So, <laughs> what's the next step of your plan? Oh, do we have a plan now? Well, I'm very excited to hear it. I'm all ears. I... Uh, all right, look. They have eyes on the situation, correct? But we, obviously, don't. We need to know what's going on in there, so... We need to get in contact. But we can't do that without some sort of telephonic technology that's been through the fracture. One time I leave my phone at my desk. McCoy, here I! Hello, chaps. <laughs> Tom! You made it back? How's it looking in there? It looks exactly like this room here, but all fucked up. It's rather thrilling. <laughs> he means the situation, you dickhead. Oh, that! <laughs> <laughs> Not a clue. I was too busy running from Cybermen and messing with Leonardo, you understand. Now, if you'll excuse me. Has something more important than time ending come up? No, no. Uh, bye. Wait, Tom! No chance you had your phone on you when you went through the fracture. Well, of course I do. I've got to send Sarah Jane my be reels after all. <laughs> Whatever they are.
back in the game. Welcome aboard the ZZ-1 Space Cruiser. Please, enjoy your flight. Water's on me. You know, I just met a group of lovely guides back there and I really dug their vibe. Great dress sense. I thought you misplaced that. Hmm? Oh, yeah, well, it's always in the last pocket you look, isn't it? Ah, uh, thank you, David. My favourite. Tap water. Anyway, let's catch each other up. That lady, the one in red, she's a time lady called Zariah. And she's currently looking for all the pieces to the time disruptor, the thing that's caused all this. Exposition. No, but that doesn't make sense. It's already been built. Twice now. Once by Colin in our universe, and once by whoever started this in this one. Not to her. Which makes me think the one she's building is the original. That's why time's getting more and more buggered. Because we're getting closer and closer to the epicentre. This is such good water. I hate to say it, but I believe timey-wimey is the uh, correct descriptor. Where's the representative? Is he okay? He's in the medical bay. In critical condition, I'm afraid to say. We'll hold him in our hearts. But we can't forget that this Time Lord Victorious thing is still on the loose. And we can't ignore what everyone else was doing. I mean, there was an Ood in James Bond cosplay. I mean, what's up with that? I'd say we focus on that. That's, that's weird. Speak of the devil. Who the hell is that guy? Brian. His name is Brian. Yes, he's an assassin that's been tasked with killing that Zariah woman. And me and Kapali have stuck with him to see it through. You can't let him kill her! But why not? Hey, tell me, why not? And in fact, don't tell me. Don't even give a shit. By our understanding, she's the cause of all this malarkey. Or will be the cause, at least. Plus, the three of us are about to become super rich. In a universe that none of us wish to stick around in. That money would be useless back home. Plus, I don't think she's entirely to blame. At least not fully. She must have someone back on Gallifrey, but... Ah! I can't remember the plot! <sighs> She'll turn up soon. Me and Kapali are Team Brian, so when she does, you best keep your heads down. Oh, in the name of Dan Lewis. Right, I'm seeing if they got more custard creams. Scooch boy. So Sorry. much for being Thank sent you. in to help. We're all stuck on different paths. Team Murder Ood wrote. Team Time Lord Idiots. Oh, and don't think I've forgotten you, David. I will be inquiring where you've been. Look, I will explain, but right now we need to focus on what's happening... right now. I'm gonna go talk to that sexy Silurian singer over there, see if she has any valuable information. Like her phone number. See ya! He's getting predictable, that boy. God only knows what he's been up to when we've not been looking, and this water tastes like shit. Oh, and speaking of Team Brian, did you see what they had back in France? Yes, yes, a piece of the Disruptor. And that Zariah woman, she said she had one too. And according to them, it only requires one more to function. I have a feeling it'll be around here somewhere. Like David said, best we divide and conquer. We find a piece, we destroy it. And failing that, we don't allow Zariah to get to Gallifrey. I'm exhausted. Um, yes? What is it? What do you want? What did those strangers want? Uh, them? Uh, they were just trying to sell me death sticks. Yeah. Oh, lovely! My favourite! Do share! 
they were out. Oh, drats! Uh, oh well, maybe next time, eh? Oh, they're so euphoric. What did I miss? Well, whoever hired Brian has sent a special package to the ship. What's inside? They did not specify. Oh, I'm too excited. You look... Why me? Well, partly because I'm just too elated to do it myself. And I suppose there is also the teeny tiny possibility that there's a bomb in there planted by one of my countless enemies. <laughs> I'll pass. John, do you mind? But certainly not. It's your mail, so you open it. You know, on our world, it's actually illegal to open someone else's peccages. Fine, but this will affect your assassin grades. Oh my word! You already have a gun. The being who hired me for this job. They must really want this woman dead. Do neither of you know what this is? Well, of course we do. Tell us anyway. This is an anti-time gun. <laughs> it can kill a Time Lord in one shot. It completely cancels regeneration. Only three of these bad boys were ever completed. Oh, this is a high honour indeed. Wait, hang on. That Doesn't Zoraya have that exact same gun? It was theorised that it was created by some mad Time Lord inventor. So I suppose it makes sense that at least one of them would be found on that silly orange planet. <laughs> oh. Okay, well... Let's get out there, find that woman, and kill her! Loving the attitude, but you boys best leave this to the professional. Get yourself another drink, boys. And enjoy the show. Very well. And what shall you do? Ah, ah. Who is that? Ah, uh, uh, testing, testing. One, two, three. <laughs> yes, hello. Can all members of Doctor Who Road, I see a few in the audience here tonight, uh, congregate here and fill me in. I'm very out of the loop and I'd like some help, please. Thank you. Mr. Yarm. Hello, sir. This is the ship's captain speaking. Could you get the hell off the stage, please? Ha! Huh. Oh! <sighs> Sorry, I didn't even realize we were in space. That's, um... New? Nice ship, it's, it's very clean. Oh, I'll... get off, you blubbering idiot! Piss off, God. Leave it to the professionals, eh? Um, <clears throat> uh, hello, um, dear Captain, uh, sir. Uh, I am William Hartnell of, um, uh, uh, this. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't realize we had someone as high-ranking as you on board. Uh, what can I help you with? Well, firstly, I must congratulate you. This is truly one of the most smooth space cruisers that I, I have ever ridden. Oh, there you are. Yeah, they didn't have any custard creams, unfortunately, but they do have mini rolls. Off brand mini rolls, but what he... What's he doing? No idea. That's not your psychic paper, is it? I am, however, afraid that we're going to have to make a slight detour. Detour? Detour? Can I ask why? Certainly not. But we must set sail for Gallifrey. No! Gallifrey! 
Not Gallifrey, I think that was it. Not Gallifrey. Oh, relax. I hear Gallifrey's lovely this time of year. I'm Team Hartnell. We haven't seen Zariah in ages. She might have already found the final piece to the time disruptor. Oh, but she doesn't, my dear. Cause I do. <laughs> Where the hell did you find that? A very trustworthy person gave it to me with a very simple instruction. Get it and the other pieces to Gallifrey. That's it. They must have given you more. Which stop all your jabbering. Just be more like Tenant here. Get yourself another drink and sit back and relax. William Hartnell. So much for that. You have been requested by... Zariah. Good, because we need to talk to her. Not you. Or you. Or you. Just him. Let me guess. Are you and Trout and team have saved Gallifrey, but also destroyed time and space as we know it, lol? Not a catchy name, is it? Not exactly. Me and him are just trying to keep an eye on her. As we know, she's quite erratic. Plus, if it's the path that gets me back to Gallifrey... So be it. Oh. How did we all get sent in here with the exact same goal? And then immediately split up into different tracks? It's like it's designed to be this way. I wouldn't overthink it. Sometimes the universe just does this and we call it scripted. <laughs> now, where did that sexy Silurian singer get to again? Nah. Pretty sure she gave me the wrong number. Hello? Silurian! Nah. It sucks. Well, go on. Bill, with me. This is not my glass. Oh, we swapped seats. Oh, fucking slow down. Firstly, I... Oh, you scared the life out of me. What are you doing in a cleaning cupboard? I just didn't need to grab... Not important. You know what? You... You crap hot. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'll come back. I'll come back. That's fine. Right. Ah, fucking... Sorry. As I was saying... Firstly, I wish to apologise for hurting your friend, the one with the glasses. But in my defence, he was trying to kill me first. Or at least he was trying to. Bless him. I can't fully forgive you. But as a sign of peace, I wish to give you... peace. Old man. You have no idea what you've done for me. No, he really doesn't. As a token of my appreciation, I shall see to it that your friend is okay. Well, that is appreciated. And with all that square, what say we all relax and have some cocktails? Uh, I have to ask. Why did you change the ship's course? Oh, I'm just a holiday maker, that's all. I hear it's quite lovely this time of year. But hardly. There's a billion, billion Daleks raining hellfire down upon it. You do raise a good point, Mr. Chicken. I hate you. I hate you very much. How will this ship land? It'll be torn to shreds before it even touches the upper atmosphere. Time and space are still colliding, but in helpful ways. It's always pointing me towards my destiny. So, scour the ship. Look for any more tears. Now that Gallifrey's our destination, there must be a way to it. And what will you be doing? Me? I'm going to pay that Ood one last visit. <laughs> Daddy's home! Don't ever.
ever call yourself that again. Did you arouse any suspicion? Me? Certainly not. I'm the most subtle man to ever grace God's earth. Ha <laughs> ha. A likely story. You take over the digging. I'm exhausted. <sighs> Whee! <sighs> I must admit, I do feel a tad bad about all this. What? You're escaping prison, you silly boy. No, not the whole. Time is falling apart. The cosmic chessboard is in tatters. And look at us, we're here doing nothing to help. Oh, who cares about time? What has time ever done for you? Allow me to exist across a linear plane of existence? Well, I could have done that if you only asked. You don't make sense. Ah, I'm going to go see if there's a way I can assist. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> Think about it. This might be our only chance. We have a distraction so big it's distracted everyone, even the top brass. I'll be back, all right. And if I'm not, you take Harry and Sarah Jane and Ace, and you run as far and as fast as you can. Good luck. See you on the outside. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. More bananas, I think, yes. Brian the Ood. Of the lesser order of Oberon, was it? Zariah of Gallifrey. And I'm a... Oh, sorry, no. You've been chasing me all across time. Bounty on me must be quite high. You will be pleased to hear that you are my highest ever bounty. I'm gonna make so much off of you I could comfortably retire. Not that I would, of course. I simply adore murder. You know, maybe he's not the best role model. Are you kidding me? I'll follow this fancy chap anywhere. Who is it that wants me? <laughs> Oh, come on! It was never going to last, David. <laughs> okay, folks, nothing to see here. If all doctors could actually hide behind something, not only for your safety, but also to make this easier to film, much appreciated. Normally, I would allow a time for final words, but if you truly are the reason for time falling apart, I hardly think you're deserving. I apologize, but she's my ticket to Gallifrey. Speaking of which, I believe me and Troughton have found a way. Zariah, come on! Oh, I will not allow you to get away! Oh. Going somewhere, are we? Yet. No! Wait, John, don't open!
she'll pay for this. Well, you're not wrong. With all the bullet holes in this vessel, I doubt insurance will cover. Oh, shut it, you. Look, John, I, okay, I'm not very good at this, but I know it hurts, but you can't just go running through there raging. You'd be going head first into the time war. Alone. Who knows what horrors lie ahead. Don't be daft. I wouldn't go in alone. Capaldi, come on. John, they're right. Peter? We can't let Brian's death, as sad as it is, cloud our better judgement. You heartless bastard. The lot of you. The doctor, he, he has two hearts. He, he cares twice as much. You lot, you, none of you care at all. We do, we all do, but we need to remember the stakes here. Oh, shut up, you Scottish twat. I'll see you on Gallifrey. Hard to say, but the ending is in sign. The show ended on Gallifrey, and we have a door right to it. Wait, it does? That would have been good information to know at any point. Yes, as in before we all leapt in in the first place. You were all rushing me. Leave off, I'm helping. Look, just whatever you need to do, do it fast. Fuck off. Have you found the representative yet? He's okay, just sort of healing up. We made it. Oh, my friends, what we have done today will make us heroes in the eyes of the Time Lords. That's all I've ever wanted. I give you my thanks, all three of you. Now, let's go rub this in Romana's face. Wait, so Romana's gonna be there? Lady Soraya! Oh, I am glad to see you home. Lord Tepesh, I am forever grateful and in your debt that you selected me for this mission. Well, there was no one better for the job. Though I see you've not done this alone. Hi. How you doing? Uh, yes, um, this is the Time Lord and Human duo you sent me. And this random old man. Oh, this place is splendid! <laughs> Paul McGann! Oh, shit. You dare step foot on Gallifreyan soil again! You are mistaken, Madam President. This is the Time Lord known as the Traveller. I see your vision is as good as your presidential abilities. Wicked incendio. Oh, save it. That man is a human. And an idiot. Ha! Ridiculous! Oh, I've been waiting for this. Anyone care to verify? Liar! Oi! That cost me ten quid! So, you're a spy. If not for Amana, then who? The Doctor? Tell me! Zariah, desist. What matters is that you have what you were sent for. Perfection. Come, we'll discuss in private.
Why is it that whenever I try to help, to be the doctor that I long to be, this always happens? Maybe next time you could simply not lie. The honest truth is a powerful asset. What about Dr. Rule One? Who are you? Hmm? Matt Smith or Paul McGann? Your life is different than anybody else's. Isn't that exciting? There's no need for you to lie. You are enough. Have you always been this profound? Since the day I was born. Now, I think we should get ourselves a seat. Something tells me this is all going to get very confusing. Hello. Welcome to the High Council Chamber. Uh, your attire suggests that you're a member of my chapter? Um, I'm afraid not, uh, Miss Romana. The pre... Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming you're here for the vote. Uh, my dear, I'm rather in a rush. Is this important? Clearly not to you. Get out of here, you ignorant fool. Oh, fuck off, then. Sorry, hello. What's all this about a vote? Excellent, absolutely superb. The Pridonian chapter will hail you as our rightful saviour. You really believe so? <laughs> of course. With these finally complete the Time Disruptor and defeat the Daleks once and for all. Yes, but that still leaves President Moron in the way. She'll never allow this to be used. And that is why, in your absence, myself and the fellow Chancellors from the Arcadian chapter have forced a vote to take place in just a few moments. The vote is to deem whether I'm fit for presidency. A vote of no confidence. A vote of no brains, more like. Ha! <laughs> but they'll get what they've wanted for a millennia. The resurrection of Rassilon. What? That warmongering idiot? Exactly! But with the time war reaching its apex, it's who they think they need. Cannot let them win this vote. So spread the word, I beg of you. Oh no, it's already starting. It's... Can I trust you, humans? You can, I promise. Let's go take our seats. Looks like all us Doctor Who rogue lot are present and accounted for. Well, except for Colin Baker, obviously. And Tom Baker, oddly. God knows where he's ended up. Oh, and John Hurt. Well, I suppose he was clever enough not to come along. He does seem to be the smartest. We need to split up and tell everyone in every way. Text message, Bebo, WhatsApp, MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, Rassilon is not to be resurrected under any circumstances. Hold your ah! horses, my Ooh! friends. Flipping John! There's been a change of plan. So much for being the smartest, I suppose. No time to be snarky, Miss Whittaker. We must make sure Rassilon is resurrected. Under whose authority? The only one any of us can truly trust. Let me explain. I was the last Doctor through, but I arrived somewhere different to all of you. Somewhere... evil. Scarrow. Home of... My beautiful children. Davros! Davros. Ugh, not that prick again. Oh, for God's sake! Don't interrupt my flashback! Sorry. <laughs> uh, what did he say? 
You have the clothes of the Doctor. But the face reminds me of a certain Doctor Who road. You are correct. Now, if you could direct me to the others... I will gladly be rid of you. However, I actually have a quest for you to undertake. Me? Help you? I've never heard such arrogant nonsense. I'll find my own way, thank you. Put your hatred of me to one side, Mr. Hurt. Time is fractured, and both of us have a part to play in saving it. Mine is giving you this. What is it? A device that will allow my Dalek's passage to Gallifrey. The Time Lords are the cause of time's collapse. Or shall we? So my Dalek army shall stop them. The Daleks will be the saviors of time. Like I said, nonsense. Why should I believe that you have the universe's best interest at heart? You want to destroy it every other week. You cannot conquer what doesn't exist. But I understand your distrust. Luckily, you don't have to trust me. Try this. Sir? Who was it? The Doctor. The real Doctor. Well, if there is one person in this universe we can trust... Okay. We must spread the word and fast! Oh, way ahead of you. I've just transcribed everything you just said into the Doctor group chat. And send. Everyone will know. Can everyone find their seats or assigned standing positions? to resurrect Rassilon shall commence now. Time Lords and visiting humans, you join us on the most important day of Gallifrey's history. Of course we are. The Dalek fleet have the entire planet surrounded. They continuously bombard us with everything they've got. If we resurrect this moron, this tyrant, he's not going to be able to do anything about it. He'll just ignore the Daleks and continue his horrific experiments until we're dead or no longer Time Lords. Irrelevant! Rassilon will do what Romana has been too afraid to do. The answer to the war ending is right here. Thanks to the expertise and bravery of our own Lady Zoraya. Oh, you suck. Ah, oh, yes. Lady Zoraya. In your illegal quest to find the lost pieces of the Time Disruptor, you have broken multiple Time Lord rules, haven't you? Most notably, meddling in the affairs of different peoples and planets. Even killing a notorious assassin who is vital to many strands of the timeline. For these reasons, Zoraya is to be banished from the Prydonian chapter with immediate effect. Oh, dear. That I'm finally be getting some. What? <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Lord Depeche, you don't. Please. 
Do you want me to back? Please. Please, I, I was instructed to do it. Lord Tepesh, he... chance you'll redeem yourself back home. The doctor never would. I'm not the doctor. Never a dull day. My time lord brethren, ask yourself this. Would this war be in such a terrible state if not for the incompetent leadership of President Romana? Please think of it. Use your minds. The recent fall of Arcadia the Nightmare Child swallowing our battle TARDISes whole. The Master's recent escape. My microwave casserole exploding all under her watch. It's a disgrace, I tell you. How did I never banish you? If we had a strong male-presenting Time Lord leader, such as Russell on Horton, dare I say, myself, I'm confident in saying that this war would have never even started. Are we really voting for this guy? Sadly, I think we are. But for the betterment of the universe, not because we agree with his views. Right, Hartnell? Yes, of course, dear girl. You know, you confuse me for David Bradley's portrayal. I love women. Especially their bottoms. <laughs> uh, no chance Zariah will be back to beg again, is there? <laughs> if you, like me, believe in Gallifrey, then you will join me in voting for the resurrection of Rassilon. Thank you. Oh, and don't forget to buy my new book, Why Romana is a Total Bitch, in stores now. Wow, that's, um, that's terrible. So, I think we should start the vote after that. A time for all of you to have your voices heard. And for some of you to get back in my good books. Oh, shit. The rules for this vote, they couldn't be simpler. If, like me, you wish to have Rassilon be resurrected and win this war, Simply yell his name as loud as you can until your lungs give out with giddy excitement. As giddy as Troughton's aunt. It's not the time, you small prick. Look who's talking. And to vote for the sane option, simply stay silent. Everyone, please cast your vote now. Sorry, got a bit carried away there. It's quite fun. 
You have chosen to resurrect me. This is fine. You have chosen wisely. Let's hope things back home are looking less cataclysmic. That'll hold it for now. But that is the last straw. We need to get in contact again and get all of them back through. They will be stuck there. We can't. They clearly haven't fixed time yet. We just have to assume they're close. But if that PSG breaks again, they'll have no way back. Do you hear me? No way back. There's not enough signal. I can't get through. I think I can help. I can reroute all BBC wavelengths to this room. It should give us all the power we need. <laughs> well, that sounds perfect. Do it! But... It'll alert the BBC. If they see what's going on here, or they try to contact the representative... Well, that's it. This place would be finished. And all occupants would be... released. Released sounds potentially good. For some, this place, this road, it's the only thing keeping them alive. If they ever got out, that's it. Game over. Colin, we would only have one shot to do this. We all need to be certain. The coronet of Rassilon is all that is needed for his glorious resurrection. If I might ask, how exactly does this resurrection work? Simple. Resurrection button. You're not serious, are you? Annoyingly, he is. President of Gallifrey, reborn. Mr. President, I, I am Lord Tepesh, and I, I was instrumental in your resurrection, sir. Who were these faces that populate the council chamber? Oh, uh, they are humans, Lord President. They did help in your resurrection, but I am the ringleader, so to speak. So. I remember. In the final days of my life. These faces, these clothes. They doomed me to die. Pay them no mind, sir. There are more pressing matters to attend to now that you're up and alive. <laughs> so, the Daleks... Thank you for your opinion. <laughs> now what? You activate that device and let the Daleks through? Something's not right. The doctor said that all must be found before activation. Can't have been my doctor then. My doctor wouldn't have been so vague. I think. Well, all the pieces to the time disruptor have been found, as well as Rassilon's fancy hat. Coronet. Silence in the stands! Yeah, in a mo. Matt Smith! In a mo! 
What did you say? I remember. Your faces. All your faces. This is getting very meta. Even more meta than usual. Now that is an achievement. You defeated me in the Earth Year 2018. But this time I shall be victorious! Just what I was thinking. David Tennant, the man with the unstoppable libido. Oh, I have his body, yeah. But. Look into my eyes. Tell me what you see. Well, well, well. My oldest experiment back to haunt me. I believe we've found the Victorious. Get out of his head! If you want a body, take mine. I've been in your head, and not to be rude, but I'm not in a rush to get back. Besides, I found what I was looking for. David! Oh, so much for knowing how to fight him. I'm sorry. He's grown stronger. Oh. Yes, I... Humans and Time Lords. You now have your new leader. The Time Lord Victorious is now the president of Gallifrey! You are insane. Both the entity inside and the man you inhabit. But I knew of Tepesh's wish to have you resurrected, so I constructed safeguards against it. Stand down, or I activate them. Ex-President Romana. You know, despite everyone's grievances, I consider you a fine, fine leader. With only one major flaw. What have you done? Beginning the purification of this planet. And I see no better place to continue than with you. David Tennant, my original host body. Do you have bigger problems than me, Victorious? The Daleks have this entire planet surrounded. They'll kill us all before you even get a chance. Davros and his pathetic army will bow before me. I don't think the Daleks have the ability to bow. I have the power of the gods now. I will give the Daleks a backbone when they get here. Allow me to help.
Whoa. We need to get after him. No doubt the Daleks will take care of him. Come on, more power! Oh, it's working! Guys, you better be close to fixing this. But we just did! We stopped the time disruptor from going off. Look at it, it's smoking! No one's starting that now. Tell that to the fracture! It's more erratic than ever! Ah! Oh! 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 Jody! What do we do? Ah, I don't know! Let me think! John! Please! Tell me you didn't. We're all going to die, aren't we? Ah, not a chance. Come on, we're clever. And all finally together in one room under the same goal. By tea time, this will be a distant memory. Look back on today and laugh. Or perhaps giggle. All of you, jump through. It'll take you back to your universe. What? Once you're through to the wild blue oh. yonder, ah. use your energy. Seal this fracture. I, I, I don't understand. D David, it, now's your only chance. Why should we trust you? Because I'm the Doctor. Yes, that's, that's fair. Oh, also, Friend of yours. What? Representative of oh, my boy! Well, what are we standing around for? I thought you were experts in this sort of thing. Jump, morons! Nothing we can do. We have to go. My home is here. Very soon there won't be a Gallifrey. We have to go home. Our real home. Fine. So long, Romana. I'm sorry. Funny run! I still can't quite believe it. Tell me about it. They really did run out of ideas, didn't they? What? Oh. Nothing you'd understand. Oh! Before you go, don't worry about that victorious thing. I'll make sure that star beast gets what it deserves. I've no doubt that you will. Doctor. My time. I must hurry. Am I on fire? It says you're all filled with Cronon and Artron energy. No, my video filled the bursting. Oh, that's right. Okay, everyone, hold your hands to the fracture like you're trying to give it a high ten. Focus! Though I 
feel like an idiot. Well, you look like one too. Ah! 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 It's not working! Is it not enough? My friends, it's not always about how hard you strain. It's about determination. All of you, chant with me. I am the doctor. 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 So long, Mr. Baker. It's been a pleasure. Woohoo! <laughs> you all just saved time! Tom! Tom!